Hello. Right. Every day, um, I'm sat at my computer in the morning and I have a look at this URL here, which is the Peace Havens one. And if you look at the top of the page, there, you will see a weather forecast thing. Mine is set for blubber houses. Click on blubber houses. But you can go up here, there, look, and change it to virtually anything you want. Just type in your own district. Then I look at today, and uh, not bad, cooler with periods of rain. Uh, tonight it's going to pour down seemingly, and tomorrow it's going to be showery. So let's click there on hourly. Uh, and from 11 right through to 6, there's a 6% chance of rain, which, okay, I'll chance that. <laughs> So there you go, that's what it should be like at Blubber Houses. <laughs> it told me there were going to be thunderstorms last time, but it never happened. So, I think I'll pop up there and, and have a little look later on. Bye. See you up there. It's a bit big, yeah, but I, I only go so far with you. So. Right. Um, I'm back up at West House. Uh, just bumped into a gentleman who's chainsaw carving birds. <laughs> uh, this is the lab, so if you're wanting something, come up to West House. <laughs> oh, very tiny little spit of rain in the air, and it's really cool and it's nice. <laughs> I'm just walking along the bottom here. Uh, I've done all this before, before, before. Uh, tiny little, I'm not sure what, yeah. I think you're a button. I've got uh, my iron volume turned off and my normal volume cranked up to 7 and it's picking stuff up really deep there we go, 18 or 9 66 post <laughs> good start well it's a seal but it's been in the wars <laughs> I'll say one thing for this little coil it does not pick up oh, a fraction of the big iron that the large coil does. I haven't had a piece of big iron yet. Large coil is very good but it is susceptible to picking up iron. This little coil is an absolute beauty. <laughs> right another one. I love this new program I'm using which totally knocks out the iron sound. Um, volume up as high as it'll go. Um, I've had seven signals, one was a button, three were pieces of lead and three were seals. That's not bad going. There, another one, 18 or 9. Oh, you know, I'm getting spit on, spit, spit, and there's cloudy, oh, a bit of breeze coming up, thank goodness, and I'm sweating like a, yeah, what, a <laughs> signal. No numbers, nothing on the horseshoe, and it's about eight, nine inch musket ball. Really loud signal, but no numbers, no nothing. Right, well that is an Archangel seal. Computer said probably iron, so I thought I'll have a look anyway. Uh, yeah, Archangel. Bit grot. Look at that, threatening to be silver. <laughs> Well, let's see. Finger around the back, it's a button. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. <laughs> damn, 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 it's a button. <laughs> ah. Oh. <laughs> Can't win them all, you know. Right, I walked across to that where I thought I'd found another site up here. I think I got 10 out of here. Well, maybe about 11. 1909. Saluki. Oh, that's a not bad nick. 1914. 1814, I should say. <laughs> What's 100 years between friends? Flax inspector. De, De Dovinov. Mm, okay. <laughs> well, 
looks to be Baltic States, but it's blank. Oh well. Right, another one, 1804. I've got one there, one there, one there, one here. So this line goes straight up to there where I was getting the, getting them the other day. Looks like there's been one spread right down here, hopefully. Shall I have a look at that? Right, there's another one, 1814. I'm going up here. Another um, 1814. Goodly. <laughs> a loom weight. Every time I think that I'm uh, coming off the patch, I get another indicator. Ah, <sighs> it's hard work. Well, bearing. Pretty good. <laughs> it's been constantly drizzling, very, very faint, for about an hour now. Not enough to get you wet, but enough to keep you cool. Great. <laughs> ah, shall do a bit more, then I'll wander back to the car. Another of them tiny lead ones. This has got three holes in. So, obviously a button. They uh, cut a piece of cloth out of what they were wanting a button for, sewed it over the top, and then sewed that on. Matching buttons. Oh, so I saw this flashing, and I felt the back, no button, then I turned it over. It's a button. <laughs> oh. oh, beautiful fresh air. Another loom weight. Very good. Yeah, one of them tractor studs. 1920 steam engine traction. Ah, oh, very old half penny. Uh, anywhere from 1740 to 1780. George 3 or George 2. Oh, sun's trying to come out. <laughs> I doubt it. It's just overcast. I just found a, a bit of machinery, look. Tiny little thing. <laughs> look at that loom it. I don't think it's broke. I think that's as is. What a tidgy button. <laughs> oh, here's some of that uh, wood carver's work here. Jeez. Hello, welcome to the roundup. <laughs> It was a nice day today. <laughs> it was warm, but there was spots of rain going plop, plop, plop on my head. <laughs> Not enough to wet you through, but uh, just keep you cool. It was gorgeous. <laughs> Tend to overheat a bit now. Uh, right, there's my little hoard. And I've made some terrific discoveries today. Uh, but we'll get through to them as we get through. I got a load of lead, but um, I just kept the four little bits. I didn't bother carrying the big bits. Nor iron. I think I've dug up about three pieces of iron all day with that little coil. The little coil's very good for avoiding iron. But the big coil, I'm sorry, but it attracts big iron like a magnet does that big coil. It's too... Um, too sensitive. Right, look at that. That's either for making felt in a in a machine, da, 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 or it's a a stud off a nineteen twenties tractor wheel. They used to they got little studs on the wheels on the iron, and they used to heat these things up, ram them on that stud, and then quench them with water, and they would shrink and stick on. But not right. Well, <laughs> kept coming off. Um, bits of machinery from the the mill. They they used to run these things till they were absolutely worn out and broke. Health and safety, forget it. Uh, quick look at the but buttons. That little button tried to fill me with silver. Got this one. And I thought, 
Oh, I've, I've had I've had ones like you. You're at uh, Baltic Seals, but this isn't. I've come to the conclusion. I'm learning a lot today. This one's got three holes, so presumably it's used as a button base for covering with cloth. It's a button. Then it dawned on me. I wonder if they bought these things just as discs without holes. I mean, it never struck me before that <laughs> you, the, when you buy a button it's got two holes in it, but maybe they bought discs and put their own holes in it. So I presume that is exactly the same as that one. It's a button, even though it hasn't got any holes. <laughs> this is all learning as we go, folks. <laughs> Musket ball. You quite like finding the odd musket ball. They're always, they never seem to be perfectly round. They're, they've always uh, been hit by something. Right, there we go, loom weights. This one, if you notice, the, the wires seem to be the same. I think when they made this, they ran out of lead. <laughs> So when they put the lead in the mould, uh, <laughs> they didn't have enough. So that's your normal size ones, and this one, the lead should have been up to there, but they ran out of lead. Or maybe not, <laughs> but that's what I think. Right, this turned out to be George too. It's very, very thin, but it's a half penny. Uh, You can just see Britannia. There's Britannia. You can just see her, her head's up there. Look, everything. That's her arm reaching out, holding an olive branch. And there's a shield there. She sat on this shield. The date's down there, but your guess is as good as mine. I think it's 1744, but <laughs> let's call it round about 1750. We can't go far wrong. That's not bad, but it's the only coin I found. Now, seals. Two, four, six, eight, ten seals there. Not bad. <laughs> this has solved a couple of problems because I've had a few pieces of lead which, and they've got all these funny marks on, and actually they're seals that have gone wrong, look. Been corroded. Because you are a seal. But just what you are, no idea. 1809s. Not bad. I'm going to leave that one. And 1814s. Notice how the 1814s are cleaner because they are pure lead. The 1809s have a touch of um, pewter, I reckon. That's why they're going off. Whereas the 1814s look, they're in pretty good readable nick. Not bad at all. Now we get to this one. Okay, video may get a little disjointed here because uh, while I'm making this video, I've <laughs> I've realised something that says N O one, and I know who he is now. Uh, Archangel seals. Some of them, this particular inspector, operated out of number one post Archangel. <laughs> Not the normal number one post that we have, but Archangel. So this is really the first time it's um, struck me that Archangel had a post. Now I had a look through and I thought, mm, yeah, look, we got a one, maybe got a six, maybe got a seven. No, we haven't. They're all, the only posts we have in Archangel is, see the N, and that O, almost looking like a 9, but it's an O, so it's number, and that is a 1. They're all 1s. I thought we'd got a few posts, but we've only got one. So, <laughs> um, if this is a little bit disjointed, this video, it's because I've had to refilm this and take out a load of rubbish I was talking. <laughs> right. Um, either I'm going to end the video here or I'm going to add a bit to it. <laughs> 
see what happens. There we go. It's out there. <laughs> you notice most of it's lead. <laughs> uh, I quite like this new modified program I'm using. Um, I'm, I'm going to use the small head. It's, it's much better than the large one. The large one is picking up too much bloody iron for me. So I've got the small head on. Uh, I've got the iron volume turned down to zero, so I'm not... The only iron I hear is going bleh, or uh, deh, deh, you know how it does, and you can tell straight off it's iron. And I've got the volume volume turned up to seven. Um, if you have it at one, it, it gives you a big note for something near the surface and uh, hardly any note for something deep. But if you've got it at seven, it gives you the same boing, no matter how deep it is. So I'd rather have a big boing for something at eight, nine inches down. And uh, I'll figure out how deep it is. <laughs> so iron volume zero, volume volume up to seven. I'm not bothering with ground balance. I'm leaving the ground balance alone at 90. And I'm leaving it at 90. And it's, it's working. It's, it's not giving me iffy signals all the time. Um, uh, <laughs> I went along, I got seven signals and I got seven hits. Um, phew, all the iffy, 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 I'm not getting and I don't want it. <laughs> I want it a signal, I want a good one. Did get a bit of iron but not that much. So I'm rattling on again, but uh, there might be some gems of wisdom in there. So there we go, another 10 seals for uh, West House. Just one last little prod at my viewers. Come on, I'm gonna get to 5,000 all on my own if you don't start sending me the seals you're finding. <laughs> Uh, I'm finding them that fast now, I, I can't get them loaded fast enough. Anyway, enough of this. It was a good day out, enjoyed it. I like cool, fresh air. Uh, wet air, gorgeous. It's out there. Go get it. Plot it all down, make a note of everything, and then a few years later it'll just strike you. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> They have post numbers in Archangel. <laughs> now, come on, some smarty. You try and tell me you always knew that. No, you didn't. <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. Now, you take care, and till see you next time. Bye.